What is happening? Welcome to another picture video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, and I know you guys have requested that I do some negative ones. So I'm going to quickly go over this first inning uh, from Jesus Lazardo. This was from Wednesday night's game against the Astros. He's been doing really poorly. It was four and runs, four and runs, seven and runs his last three games. Uh, he was against the Tigers. He didn't do well. He didn't do well against the Rangers. I mean, even though he pitched really well against the Rangers, it didn't work out because it's the Rangers. And this start against the Astros, I was very like, I, I guess we got to do it because I think the skills are there, but maybe not. And it was just a terrible first inning. So we're going to watch all this first inning, pitch by pitch, and I'm just going to break down, am I liking what I see? Not what I see, what is going on? Uh, and we're going to go. So one thing I do want to know uh, with Jesus Lizardo, what he does, and look at that first pitch change up. I will always dig that first pitch of the game not being a four-seamer, attacking right from the beginning of like, I'm going to play with you. Because I know that L2 base swings first pitch fastballs all the time and he gets a called strike on it. That's really sexy. Uh, there have been thoughts that Luzardo is getting up to his max innings, right? A two straight changeups to start the game. Uh, and that's a, now it's obviously a fastball after that changeup, though. That's the problem. Oh, getting him out of his shoes swinging for that. See, that's pretty sexy. That's a 98, or 96, rather. Uh, but there's been an idea that Luzardo is getting up to his, the most innings he's ever thrown before and he's getting fatigued. Uh, he actually sat in 97 in this, and that's a really good pitch. And that's an out. Right? That's really good. So that was in a bat of two changeups, one guy called strike four, and two fastballs up, and you saw the one from Altuve whiff, and you're gonna do it again. Good stuff so far. Ooh, that's a terrible pitch. That's a bad pitch. Now, should it be gone? I don't know. We've seen pitches like this all the time that like guys get away with. But yeah, he wants that one back. Like that's kind of down middle and Bregman just takes it and goes. He's trying to get that up. Sayers and inside. Bad pitch. Deserves that one. Okay. I mean, baseball's baseball. You allow a solo shot instead of like a single or something like that, you know? Or a double. Fine. But it's against the Astros. That's what it means pitching against the Astros. Throw the slider away. Understood. Throw another one. He gets the whiff on it. Sweet. That's a beautiful, beautiful 1 0 pitch, right? So 1 1. Do you go back to it? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, he does. He just throws a terrible one. Now it kind of sinks because, like, this is a 2-1 pitch that is, speaks to a fastball. You've missed twice on the slider now. You don't really believe in it. I would imagine it would be maybe a fastball down and away. Uh, and then change up. I feel like the, the plan here with Tucker is to stay down and away completely. So we'll see what we get. Oh, he goes another slider. That ugh, Love it. Why do you get a whiff here? Exactly what I was just talking about. It's like, well, it doesn't feel like it's a slider count now because you just missed twice. You don't have faith in it. And he's maybe thinking that fastball away, and Tucker just gives in. He's like, seriously, another one? That's sexy. Now at 2-2, I would go change up, personally. No, come on, back-to-back? -back? Are you serious? Oh. Uh, this is such a bad pitch. I mean, you threw four, four sliders in a row before it, and all right. Tucker knows it now and knows that, like, he's probably not going to get a fastball in this pitch. And it's the highest swing decision now, right? Is like, you throw a pitch in the middle of the plate, you will not get a called strike. You will get a swing, and it's be this one. No. Oh, that is so bad. I mean, come on. He made two mistakes, right? And it's two home runs. Like, that's not good luck. <laughs> but it's those aren't good pitches. I've seen, I, I, we watched Tanner Bybee. He threw pitches like this and, like, nothing happened. Yeah, I got away with it, you know, so. And I got to deal with Alvarez. And there you go. Fastball upstairs. Okay. Slider off of it. No. Slider off of it. No, it looks like they're not doing that changeup. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no. Great play. Oh. This is this is awesome. This is a, uh, a changeup lefty to righty, which means that it's going into Alvarez. And he's way out in front. It gets a nub of the bat on the front side of it. Like, he's swinging over this. This is the very end of the bat. And I said the nub. Is the nub actually by the handle? Regardless, this is... Uh, fine. Does not deserve that one. Okay. Misses on that one. I can't tell if it's a changeup or slide. I want to say it's a changeup because it's an 89 versus the 86. Um, the location doesn't really suggest, uh, that's beautiful paint 97 up and in. you love that follow up with a change up. Can't execute. I mean, I think he's, yes, yeah, that's two missed ones here. He hasn't really missed changeups. Otherwise it was three for three really. Otherwise before it, that's a change up in the middle of the plate. 
Uh, you don't want that at 2-1. This is a big mistake. Three straight change-ups, all mistakes. Right? Way out of the zone, non-competitive ones, and then that's down the middle. Don't be a home run again. You gotta be kidding. Come on. That, that, it's like not fair, right? Like that's three, three, the three mistakes he's made over the plate. All of them have been the biggest punishment, right? Like he's not cooked. It's just, it goes both ways of like, yeah, I'm not saying he's pitching phenomenally. He's making some very good pitches, but also it's so extreme how much punishment he's getting. That's a terrible pitch. Okay, 1-0. I mean, you can say don't get to a two-one count. Well, don't don't throw a changeup down the middle like that. Also, um, add a two-one count. Um, but man, like a home run. Yeah. Now, now he's like, oh god. Yeah, I understand this one. He's gonna walk him. Thank you, Blue. We needed that one. He just throw another fastball. Good. See, like you know, he's all right. You gonna throw a slider here? Good. Change up. I would throw a slider here. But he couldn't throw for a strike because he got a 3 0, right? Ugh. Okay. That's a good pitch. Good first pitch. Fastball down the middle. And look, there you go. You don't get super duper punished. <laughs> right? I mean, not the greatest fastball there at all, but okay. You got one thing of luck there. Uh, bad fastball. Great fastball. Um, throw a slider off of that, typically. Good. Gets the. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. This is so good. 1-1 one, one slider. This is, this is generally you see a whiff here. Um, if it's not a whiff, it's a foul ball. Where is this? This is like, this is in the dirt. Ugh. When it rains, it pours. Um, oh, I see what happened there. They uh, So what happened in this, I'll watch it all the way through. This is the end of the first inning. I mean, so this is the fifth run, right? So he's going to score. Uh, and what's going to happen, he's going to get thrown out trying to advance for whatever reason. Uh, no, and they get him out of third. And that's the end of the inning. And, okay. So let, let's go over this. Not a mistake was the last, was the fifth run there. Three home runs. Bad changeup. Bad fastball bad slider right but like the only three mistakes and it's like he did settle down for the most part after this i don't know there, there's a difference between guys who just throw terrible pitches all the time and there's a difference uh like this wasn't a start of luzardo just not throwing strikes at all and just yeah i go back and forth because like yeah he got punished punished on those three mistakes like those were not good pitches that he just got unlucky with i mean the last one whatever but um but also, you don't see, like, three home runs in the first inning. Like, it doesn't matter how bad you throw. You don't see that. So, I think Luzardo is way better than this. He's not cooked. He's not exhausted by 100 innings. You know? It was the Astros taking advantage of the bad pitches. And it's why it's the Astros who are scary. As opposed to, like, throwing against the Pirates or something. All right. I hope that helps uh, get you get an understanding of what happened with Luzardo. Um Make sure you subscribe to this channel, of course. We're over 6,000. It's pretty awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support. Leave a comment about who you want me to, to talk about next. And, of course, you can get my updates every single day about how I feel about every pitcher on the website at PitcherList.com. I write my SB Roundup. All 30 pitchers reviewed every single night. But that is it. So my name is Nick Pollock. May your bounce be low and your strikeout time.